Hey, this is a multi-part series and I have linked part number one in the video description down below. Oh, and if you want to follow along, you go to procurementzen.com slash digital where you can download the resources, chat with fellow students. And by the way, it's completely free. So let's start with video. In the last lesson, you've learned how you can tidy up your table. And in this lesson, you will discover how to rearrange columns. The problem with tables in NIME is that they are very dynamic. We add new columns, we delete the old ones, and all of a sudden the columns that belong together are nowhere close to each other. But this is desperately needed, especially if we want to export and share our final results, which we will cover soon. Another micro step we need NIME to take is to rearrange our columns. In our example, we want all PO columns together and all payment terms columns together. So let's go to the screen and I'll show you how easy it is to do that. Just have a look at our recent workflow. The columns are really all over the place. So we need to rearrange these columns to make it easier for our peers to work with our final results if we want to share that. Um, so the first thing we want to do is just go to the node repository and search for the column resorter node. So while we have the last node still selected, we double click it to add the column resorter to our workflow. And we label it something like rearrange um, PO calls and material field calls. And we bold that. And this one as well. That's just my practice. All right. So let's have a look at the configuration. And the configuration we know for this one is really easy. So we have several options here. We could sort the columns from A to Z or from Z to A. We can move columns uh, to the first or last place. We could reset anything. But what we really want to do is basically we want to bring a few of these things together. So we want to have the PO number, the PO date and the PO value together. So we move the PO date up, the PO value up. And of course, if the PO value moves up, the material field goes down. And that already is our um, our arrangement. Oh, and one more thing we might want to do. Let's just also put the payment terms code down to the other fields with payment terms. All right. And that's already it. We just click OK, then we click Execute. And now we have a nicely formatted table with the columns in the right order. We have the vendor, the buyer, and then we have all of the PO fields. Then we have the material fields and then we have the payment term fields. Now you know how to rearrange the column order. This might seem like a mini step and it is. But the good thing is we can automate it using NIME. You have reached the level of data now which is ready to export. And that is what you're going to learn in the next lesson. If you want to go to the first part of this online course, click this video. And here is just another video that shows you some very funny stuff you can do with NIME. Oh, and if you want to download the resources and chat with fellow students, just go here to this page over at procurementzen.com.